Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over Quintuplet Swing in Ableton Live. Hello? 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 Huh? I don't remember installing this app. Where am I? Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Welcome to what? Excuse me, sir. Who, who are you? You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Let me out of here. <laughs> know your place, inmate. Uh, who do you think you're talking to? I don't know. That's why I'm asking him. Excuse me, sir. What am I doing here? I summoned you to speak of important matters. What do you mean by important matters? You must be rehabilitated. Rehabilitated? I have no idea what you mean. Bro, I just make music. Let me explain. Okay. Do you want me to make you a song? Because I feel like that's a running theme around here. <laughs> yes. Great. I'm assuming this is part of my rehabilitation. Rehabilitated toward fusion. Fusion? Wait, like a mashup? Like if I was to, say, make a beat out of the Persona 5 soundtrack? Yeah, sure man, whatever you want. Persona 5 fusion. It's on the way. Let's get it done. I've got all of the Persona 5 tracks that I want to use. I want to get started with some... This track. That's perfect for a kick. Snare is just over here. From there, drum rack. And drag them in. So the kick... And the snare. Since I'm sampling, I have to do a bit of processing on them. So on the kick, I have shortened the sample length and added a bit of a fade out, as well as isolating it so that it's more of a deep kick. And then for the snare, I started the transient around here so it's a bit punchier, did a bit of EQ on the foundation, reverb, and I compressed it. Without all the effects, not that impressive. But then, bam. I needed some hats. There was a really cool part in this song here. That little alarm sounding thing. Dropped them in, transposed them with that EQ so it gives it that groove now. So next thing I needed was some kind of to go underneath. I found a piano song because pianos are the easiest to make chord progressions from. This one was a little trickier because there's strings on it, but I was able to find a sample here where everything's playing the same notes, so you can transpose it and get some pretty cool results from that. I took that and then I made this little loop from it. Get like dead mouse vibes from that. And then sidechain. Ash, you keep sidechaining. Why? Well. It's so that the drums will come through better. On this song here, there's definitely some kind of bass in there. Grab that. I took out all the highs and I layered it as well. For whatever reason, it works. I really wanted the main strings from Last Surprise, the most iconic track. The trouble was, I couldn't put these exact strings, but I did find another song where the strings are repeated. <laughs> to grab a bunch of different samples. This one. This one. This one. The real question. No, not that one. I took all of those and I assembled them into a cool little riff like this. <laughs> it sounds kind of random, but all together, Ooh. All right. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. We need a sick pre-drop vocal. The best one is obviously looking cool. No. From Last Surprise. You never see it coming. 
For the drop, I cheated here. I'm just using my own drums because I wanted a full, cool sounding drop. In this drum rack, I've got Gucci Gang Kick, Trap Snare, and a Rim Shot. And then I assembled it into this pattern. Some hats. Crashes to give it that good good. Took that and I turned it into... Wow, Ash, how'd you get it to sound so cool? Right down in here, I put two OTTs on it to really bring out all of the harmonics and make it really, really bright. OTT works since it brings out every little thing. And without OTT, this is what you get. The next step, give it a bit of wideness. I have this great plugin, it's called Little Micro Shift. I normally use this on vocals, but this is really great for this particular use because it's basically a vocal. EQ'd out all of the harsh frequencies. If I turn those up, ugh, you'll hear all those super harsh frequencies. A good thing to do when you're EQing, set your cue to like eight or higher, and then use frequency. Ugh. We don't want that. And then you just turn it down a little. A little notch EQ. That helps clean up the sound a lot. Like without, and then with. Finally, good old little plate. Fantastic reverb plug in here. Ooh. Ah, but Ash, once again, it is missing something. Let me show you. It definitely needs. For this particular track, I used 808 samples. Where to place the 808s, the easiest place to put them is to match them up with your kick drum. So these are where the kicks are, this is where the 808 is. They're just matched up to where each kick hits. That gives you... Sounding pretty weak still. We gotta process this bad boy. Sidechain. I'm using sidechain to make the kick audible. You can hear the kick now. Next thing I do is I put OTT on there because I want to bring out that buzz. Mmm, beautiful. Then I use utility to turn on bass mono. EQ and spectrum. EQ to boost the volume at the root note of the sub. And we are aiming for a volume of minus one or minus two. You get maximum bass. And then lastly, a bit of erosion, just to give it that buzz once again. We're just gonna add a little bit of noise, structure it out. There we have it. So that's that. I'm gonna send this off to that, that dude. I'm just gonna dropbox it because I do not want to go back there. In a second, I'll play the beat for you. As always, the project file is available for download. If you want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!